Hello, in this session, we will look at the IT infrastructure components that we have. So the different different components that makes up for an IT infrastructure. Once again, before we start, please don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. So generally, whenever we talk about the components that we have in the IT infrastructure, these are simply some uh, uh, components that are made up of interdependent elements and they are generally divided into two main categories or two main groups so we have the hardware and then we have the software so hardware is basically all the uh, physical components that is used to uh, bring up your system and then software is basically the applications that we end up running on top of this uh, hardware components so hardware uses software like an operating system to work like your windows operating system or the linux operating system or the mac os operating system so these hardware components once the once the assemble is done we basically install an operating system on top of it and then we start using that uh, hardware to work with the application so likewise an operating system manages system resources and hardware so without an operating system we cannot work with this particular hardware and once we install the operating system the operating system will start managing the resources like your cpu ram uh, um, your hard disk and all those resources will be managed by your operating system and your operating system also makes connections between software applications and physical resources using networking components so uh, this uh, operating system will be like a middleware between your hardware and your software all right so this operating system will basically help you to connect your applications your software applications with the hardware components by making use of different different networking components that we have so generally when we talk about your hardware components it consists of your desktop computers it consists of your servers your data centers your hubs your routers your switches your facilities okay so in general when we talk about your hardware components these are the components that we can call as the hardware in the it infrastructure and when we talk about your software components or so any applications or any softwares that we are using to do our day-to-day -day activity we can call that as your software so like your uh, customer management systems or your customer relationship management applications or your enterprise resource planning applications or any of the operating systems as well that is also called as softwares and then we also have the web servers which is used to uh, run the applications we can call that as your softwares as well so basically any applications that we are interacting with any applications that we are using we call that as your software components and all of these some software components will be running on your hardware all right uh, the data centers the desktops and everything now in addition to that we also have a few more components we have the facilities so these facilities are basically your uh, physical places which provides you with all the necessary space where we can run our networking hardware the servers the data centers and all the physical components basically so to run all these physical components we need a space we need we need some locations right so that's where your phys facilities comes in so it also includes the network cabling within the office buildings to connect components of an it infrastructure together then we have the networking component which is a very important component that we have so when when we talk about the networking component it consists of your switches your routers your hubs your servers so all of these makes up for your networking component and networking component mainly helps with connecting the servers or allowing the servers to talk to each other to share the data with each other over a network all right so switches uh, connect network devices on lans which stands for local area networks like your router servers and other switches so routers allow devices on different lans to communicate and move packets between networks so like i said you know if you want the servers if you want the computers to talk to each other over a network we can make use of your uh, uh, lan devices or your network devices for that so we also have hubs within this network which allows multiple networking devices to act as a single component so basically whenever we want the computers to talk to each other we make use of the network component then 
we have the uh, server so servers is basically where we will be running the application we will be deploying the application so this is the core hardware component which is needed for any enterprise IT infrastructure to run the applications or to deploy the application so it could be a web application that your end users are going to use over the internet to deploy that uh, web application or to run that web application we will need a server so this is again a very core hardware component that we have so servers are essentially computers that allow multiple users to access and share the resources so once we deploy our application on a web server or any server we can have our end users which can be any number uh, to access this application to share the resources across the servers all those things can be done and then we have your server room or the data center so again this is like a physical location where you can have multiple servers that you are running so organizations house multiple servers in rooms and we call them as your server rooms or your data center so these are basically your restricted locations where your servers will be running where basically multiple servers lots of servers will be running and all of these will be available in one single Okay, so data centers are the core of most components so you know when whenever we talk about an it infrastructure we will uh, end up with uh, lots of servers we'll have you know huge servers with huge capacity different different servers with different different configuration and all of these will be available in one single place which we call it as your data centers and within this we will also have the networking components which will allow the servers to talk to each other share the data between the servers over a network and likewise we'll have the different different components so these are the different different components that uh, we have generally when we talk about the IT infrastructure all right so that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video